to Fujitai Academy and welcome to another video in our educational series on barbershop and hair salon best practices. The best practice we'll talk about today is displaying your hours of business clearly in the window or on the door. There's nothing worse than somebody driving up to the shop, parking in the parking lot, jumping out of the car, reaching up, grabbing the handle, rattling the handle on the door only to discover, oh no, you're closed. When someone walks by your shop on a day when you're not open, they peek in the window and they go, oh, look at that barber shop. I want to get a haircut there. I wonder when they're open. That should be clearly and plainly displayed on the front window for everyone to see. No surprises. If you're closed on Sundays, market closed on Sundays. If you close early on Thursdays, we need to know that. If you open up really, really early on Tuesdays for the early morning crowd, we want to know. You will build and grow more business by communicating the rules of the game and the way you play with every customer 24-7, 365, right on the front door or window. Barbershop and Hair Salon Best Practices, post your hours of operation clearly for everyone to see. I'm Ivan Zook for Jatai Academy. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Um, another thing I was thinking is... Um, Put on your website. Yep. You have a website. Yep. Um, a lot of online stuff. It'd be easier to know in the. Let's uh, let's do yeah. another one. Okay. Go ahead and go. Hi, I'm Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy. Welcome to another video in our series on barbershop and hair salon best practices. Today I'm going to say build a better business card. When I say build a better business card, I'm out, I'm at hair shows, I'm in the community, I'm engaging with barbers and beauty industry professionals. I love to collect barbershop business cards. I have a friend in Canada who owns and holds the world's largest collection of barbershop business cards. That's why when I ask you for a card, I'm going to ask you for two, one for me and one for him. And then I look at the card, and there's no zip code. And I look at the card, and there's no area code. And I look at the card, and the address isn't on the card. Because you think you're just giving cards to people that are in your shop and they know where your shop is. We live in a really big world. And in order to exchange and interact with people today, you must provide all of your information. Zip code, area code, email addresses, phone numbers, fax numbers if you still have those kind of things. I know there's only so much room on the card, but the rules also apply to your website. When I look at your website, I should very easily be able to know where you are when you're there, how to get a hold of you, how to send you something through the mail, the little pieces of information, the ones we have to chase after. If I have to work too hard to find you or to interact with you, I'm just going to interact with somebody else. So barbershop, hair salon, and best practice today, build better business cards, but the bottom line is communicate better with the world around you with full and complete information. I'm Ivan Zook for Jatai Academy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.